Before we get started with my skincare routine, I wanted to quickly shout out and say thank you to Mommy Silk for sending me these beautiful silk pillowcases. They use 100% silk, mulberry silk, and did you guys know that mulberry silk is one of the finest silks out there? Well, guess what? That's what they use is 100% mulberry silk. Mommy Silk uses 100% great 6A mulberry silk, which is the finest silk out there. It's non-toxic, safe, eco-friendly, 100% biodegradable, hypoallergenic, and reusable packaging. The silk pillowcases actually come with a very small thin zipper on the side to make it accessible and easy transition. And yes, Mommy Silk has provided us a 15% discount code for all of you guys to take advantage. The discount code is FENYA15. And you guys can go check out their website, which is in the description box below. And you guys can take a look at all of their products and take advantage. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fenya and I'm your personal esthetician. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about how I do my nighttime summer routine. Yes, there's a difference between summer and winter and AM and PM. So in this video, I'm going to show you my summer nighttime routine. But before we get started, you guys know the drill. Like and subscribe and let's get started. So before we actually get to the cleansing step, I will be using a cleansing oil to remove my makeup. So what a cleansing oil does is it just dissolves the makeup, loosens up the makeup, so when you actually go in and cleanse your skin, it removes easily and gently. So today I'll be using a cleansing oil to remove my makeup, and this is from PC. It's called the Daily Cleansing Oil. Really, really awesome. I just discovered this like a couple of weeks ago. I've been using it every single time I have makeup on and I love it. It smells amazing, super gentle. You can use it on your eyes. It just really dissolves the makeup. So um, let's start. So let's take about two pumps. I'm going to rub it together, get it nice and warm. And then we're just going to massage it into the skin. Mmm, and it smells so good. I don't know if it's like strawberries, lemon, I don't know. <laughs> smells amazing. So we're just going to massage it and stroke downwards around your eye area to make sure you don't tug your lashes or your skin. And you guys know me, I do not tug or I do not pull my skin, so... Don't ask me to show you because I'm not going to. <laughs> you guys know what tugging and pulling is. Go around the brow area. Take your time with this process because I feel like this process is super important. You want to make sure you get all of that makeup dissolved. Around the lips. Love your lips. Look how nicely it removes all that makeup. Now it's still technically on your hands and face, but when you are ready to cleanse, it comes off super quickly. So I'm gonna cleanse this and then we're gonna actually get to the cleansing step. So normally when I have my hair down, I will use this to wrap my hair and it looks like this. We just pretty much put it around my hair and tie this or it's a Velcro actually. So you just put it around your hair pull your hair back and then you start your skincare routine. But since my hair is pretty slick back right now and I wanna keep it this way, I'm just gonna leave it as is and not use the hair up. So before I start cleansing my skin, I'm going to pat dry my face. So I will be using this towel. This is the towel that I came up with. We just launched this. This is a 100% bamboo fiber cloth that will absorb water super, super quickly. Um, and it is very soft and gentle, so it won't cause any irritation or leave lints on your skin. Super awesome. So I just place it on my face and I just give it a little massage and the towel pretty much just soaks up all the water. And then I go ahead and start cleansing. So before I actually start cleansing, I wanted to show you the cleanser I will be using. This is called a gentle face wash. It won't strip your skin. It does remove any residue makeup left lingering, and it's so, so gentle. So let's take about three pumps. One, two, three. 
The first one was not coming out. I guess I'm running pretty low. <laughs> so we're gonna rub it together. We're going to add water to this to activate the cleanser. Now, if you haven't seen or watched my video on how to activate your cleanser, you should have watched it here. Click on that and you can go see the, the cleanser. Um, you rub it together, you're gonna add water, get it nice and soapy, lather it up, and then come back. So let me do that and then I'll be back. Okay, so your cleanser should look like this, nice and foamy and soapy. So now let's start cleansing. Now cleansing is the most important thing. Well, there's actually two things in skincare that are super important, cleansing and moisturizing. You have to get these two right. And what I mean by that is if you have the wrong cleanser for your skin and you're using it, everything else will fall off the wagon. If you have the wrong moisturizer, that too will cause issues in your skincare routine. So you need to make sure you have the correct cleanser. So now we're just going to go in circular motion. And the reason why you want to go in circular motion is because you want to go get in to the pore. So you want to push the cleanser into the pore, right? So the pores are downwards. So we want to go upwards to push the cleanser into your pore. And I know probably most people don't know about that, but yeah, that is why we go like this instead of downwards. We go upwards. Same thing, go upwards, up, up, up. Pores up. Get in there in the nose, go up again. Let's make sure you guys are seeing this, go upwards. Now I'm going to go over my eyes and then I'll be back. So again, I'm going to take my towel. There's a little bit of makeup since I wiped my hairline, there's makeup on it. So um, take the towel again, place it on your face and just pat dry. This towel is really awesome. It just literally soaks up any water quickly. That way, I mean, it's the best part is you just don't have to rub really hard and it's so gentle, really, really gentle. Okay, fabulous. So in the morning time, I have a different routine. Nighttime, I do not use a toner. In the morning time, in the summertime, I do use a toner. But as of now, this is a PM routine, so I'm going to skip my toner. And yes, you don't need a toner. Not everybody needs a toner. In the summertime, I do encourage it, but if you're dry skin, I do not, um, because a lot of times oily skin types in the summer gets really greasy. So I am oily and I do use a toner, but in the morning. So I will skip that in this routine because it's PM. I'm going to go straight to my favorite serum. So my favorite serum is the Ultimate Growth Factor. I love this serum. So this is pretty much amino acids, this is protein, stem cells to the skin. It helps regenerate skin, rebuild skin. Great for anti-aging, great for any type of damage to the skin, which means if you have scars, um, pigmentation, this doesn't brighten the skin. This heals and repairs skin. So I'm going to take about, and I have a heavy hand, guys. I take literally the full dropper. You don't have to, but I do. So I'm just gonna take the full dropper, now, this is super important, guys. So I see this a lot on TikTok and Instagram and all that, but don't pat your serum into your skin. The reason why is you can leave clumps and chunks and some areas will miss, some areas will be clumpy. You want to rub the serum together, spread the product evenly first, Okay, whatever is left over after you distributed the product evenly all over, whatever you have left over, that's when you start pressing. You don't just get the product and start pressing, okay? Because then you're gonna leave chunks and it's not gonna be an even spread and your skin's gonna just, you're gonna miss areas. So first spread the product, then whatever's left over, you press, okay? That is incorrect, so don't press first, you spread. Next up is my antioxidant. So this is my vitamin C, this is 20% vitamin C. The most you can get out of vitamin C in a serum formulation is 20%, so this is pretty maxed out. 
20%. There is ferulic acid in there, which is another brightener. There's green tea, and there is a little bit of salicylic acid to help even out the skin. If there's any blemishes, breakouts, congestion, this will help. There is also green tea, vitamin E in there, so it's very soothing to the skin. If you guys have not seen my vitamin C video, it's super, super educational. It's right there. You can go ahead and check it out and watch the video. Very educational, and it explains why vitamin C should be in an air sealed container. So watch that video, it will educate you on that. But um, so what I do is I take my vitamin C, I take about two pumps again. Normally two pumps is really um, kind of like my magic number because I can spread it down to my neck and I've kind of just mastered that. Again guys, warm up the serum, spread the product evenly all over your skin. When you are done spreading the product, that's when you pat in. I can't stress this enough. When I see it on Instagram or TikTok, it blows my mind and drives me nuts. <laughs> Don't press. First spread, then press. So after applying my vitamin C, I will be applying this serum. This is called the Hyaluronic Acid Boosting Serum. It feels like silk, really, really nice, and this is from PCA. So I take about, again, two pumps. I'm telling you, two pumps is my magic number. Rub it together, spread, massage it into your skin nicely, bring it down to your neck, then press. I will be watching you guys. Whoever is not spreading, then pressing, I'm coming after you. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't come attack me. All right, and apply it to your hands. Of course, I just apply whatever I can all over my hands. So before I go to my next step, you guys, look at my skin. Looks so glowy. I swear, I have really mastered my nighttime routine for summer. This is it. This is what I do for nighttime. Then I apply my Moisture Renew. This is, there we go. This is a really light, it's like a water cream. Pretty much what's in this moisturizer, and it took me forever to develop this because I wanted to make sure almost all skin types, I really think all skin types can actually use this. So what's in the moisturizer is algae, hyaluronic acid, arnica, there's apricot, so you will have a slight smell to your moisturizer. It's very, very vague, it's not intense at all, very slight, it's apricot extracts in there, and then there's fermented black tea, which is great for blemishes. So if you have acne, great. If you're oily, great. If you're normal, fine. If you're super dry, I would say maybe you can get maybe the rejuvenating balm, but if you're even dry skin, I think you can get away with it in the summer. So I usually use my finger as a gauge. I take about this much and rub it together. Same thing with the moisturizer, I do not pat this in. We spread the product. And the reason why I also like to spread the product is because you actually massage the skin, which means you bring blood flow to the face and blood that travels in your skin brings oxygen, nutrients to the skin, and you're stimulating your skin nicely to allow the skin to absorb the product. When you just start patting it in, it's just, to me, it's like your skin's not absorbing it. I think you just need to massage it gently and then pat in. This stimulates blood flow, which is great for circulation. Last but not least is your eye cream. You wanna make sure you apply your eye cream day and night. And the reason why I think eye creams are super important, some people don't use eye creams, they don't believe in eye creams. I personally think it's amazing because Eye creams are formulated with smaller molecules, which means this tissue right here, it has, there's still pores there. It's just a lot smaller than your face here. So if you use a moisturizer under your eyes, it's gonna have a hard time penetrating into the skin. So I actually, the Ultimate Growth Factor, the pink serum that I used first, I applied that under the skin, which I did already. So we're gonna take half a pump, about this much. You don't need a lot for your under eyes. Now, again, I have a video up as to how to apply your eye creams correctly because a lot of people go directly to the under eye area, like literally close to your eyelashes, 
and that is a huge no-no. You can get the product in your eye, it can cause damage to your eyes, it's not ideal. So watch this video here and it will show you how to apply your eye cream correctly. I'm gonna show you right now, but it's very quick and brief. So what you do is you create this little C shape. Okay, you can do here too. All right, then I just stay at the orbital bone. You do not want to go to the lid or to the bottom of your lash line. Lash line. So stay at the bone, massage this into the skin, and I do a little bit of hand massage to make sure I get everything in. Then again, that's when I start patting it in. <laughs> and I still stay at the orbital bone. I do not bring it down to my lids. Same thing here, and I'm gonna do this a little bit faster so we can continue. Okay, and at the very end, I just massage it a little bit. Add it in. Ta da! Alright, guys, so that is it for this video. I hope this video was educational, informative, as usual. If you guys have any comments, questions, thoughts, concerns, comment down below. I will link all of the products in the description box below. And yes, I will be linking Mommy Silk in the description box below with a discount code. So if you guys are interested in getting those pillowcases, they're amazing. They're super, super soft. There's a discount code in the link um, or in the description box below. So take advantage of that, guys. I will catch you on my next video and talk to you guys soon.